Hey everyone, I know it's been a little while since I filmed a video, almost a whole week, which feels like forever, and I need to start by coming clean since I've built sort of a reputation for being honest, which I strive to be. I don't see that there's any point in being dishonest, really. It just comes back to bite you in the you-know-what. If you just are truthful from the get-go, then life is a lot easier. Anyway, I wasn't completely honest with where I was this week. I actually went out of town for Thanksgiving with my family. Um, we met my husband's brother and wife and their three kids. Our family um, has a house in Florida and um, so we all met down there for the holidays and we left Monday afternoon and we came back Friday night. I just felt like it would be a little more prudent for me not to announce to the entire world or whomever's watching that um, I was going to be out of my house. So, um, so yeah. So I spent Thanksgiving with my husband's family, my nieces and nephew, and um, it was just, it was the best family vacation we've taken in a really long time. It was just wonderful to see all the kids together. My nieces and nephew and my boys are all within a year or two, and so um, it was a lot of fun. But the downside is, because it's a vacation house, we don't keep um, internet there. So, yeah. <laughs> a week without internet was like losing a limb, really. It felt like it. Um, I could view a lot of comments and videos on my um, iPhone, but, you know, you can't really comment on an iPhone. It doesn't seem to work for me anyway. So I'm happy to be back, and I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I really enjoyed reading the comments um, in response to my Thanksgiving video, and I truly meant every word. I really, really am thankful. Um, <clears throat> so moving on to the fun, you will see Bosley pacing back and forth because he wants to go outside, and um, he needs to be watched when he goes outside because he likes to dig. So, Boz, come here, big guy. We're not going to go outside right now. Come here. Buzz! Okay, so on to the topic at hand. Um, I'm going to take this time. It's a couple of days before the end of November, but um, I have the time, so I'm going to do it now for my November favorites. These are things that I've been using a lot this month, um, some the last few days, but I'm really enjoying them, so I feel like they need to be mentioned. Of course, my tried and trues have not changed. My foundation is the same. My concealers are the same. My um, paint pot is the same. It's all the same. Come here, Buzz. You need to mellow. You need to be mellow. So, thank you for that. Anyway, let's get on to the business at hand, shall we? Okay, I mentioned in my one of my more recent videos about this new nude that I found that I'm just loving. It's by Hard Candy, and I have to say, Hard Candy is the surprise drugstore brand of the year. Who knew you could get such a wonderful um, uh, product at the drugstore? I remember when this was a department store brand. Does any remember, anybody remember this? I could have sworn I used to see this brand at, um, in Nordstrom years ago. But anyway, okay, so I picked up Fire Alarm, which I wore the other night when I went out. Um, see how it's the same color basically as my skin tone? It is super creamy. It is, I mean, I had, I've been wearing it all the time, constantly. But um, I don't know if you can really see it. But it's, um, it's nude, but it has some pink undertones to it. It's very creamy. I would compare it to like a cream sheen for MAC. And um, not only is it beautiful and flattering on me, which is hard since I'm so pale, but it lasts. This color doesn't budge. Um, it lasted through dinner. Great, great color. So if you're in Walmart, you can only get hard candy at Walmart, as far as I know. So if you're in Walmart, pick up. This one is called Fire Alarm. And then I had someone else recommend, one of my subscribers, and I'm sorry I didn't write down your names, um, recommended Perfect 10. And I didn't even remember that she'd recommended it to me, but when I went grocery shopping yesterday, or Saturday, I picked this up. And it's very similar. It's a little more um, mauve tone, I would say. I'll swatch it. It's a little more sheer. Uh, it's there. There it is. I don't know. Oh, this is eyeliner on my hand. I was trying to warm it up. So ignore the black dot. But those are the two together, and I have Perfect 10 on right now. And I love it. These, these colors are fabulous. I'm going to have to go back and get most of them. So, that's it for lip treatments. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to grab it out of my purse, but the EOS Ball um, in yellow, the Lemon Drop, I um, I love it, and the only drawback I would say is that when you lick it, it does taste like lemon drops, so it might defeat the purpose if you're licking it off your lips, but okay. 
Then on to eye stuff. No, let's do face stuff because that's more fun right now. I finally went out and picked up the Milani HD, what is this called? HD, there it is, see that? HD Advanced Concealer, Click Cover, Correct and Protect Eye and Face. This is to replace my Inglot. Um, similar packaging, it's probably the same darn thing. Um, it's got the brush tip at the end there. It's got the click here. And I picked it up two days ago, and I have it on now. And I will say, compared to the 20 something dollars for Inglot versus 8 something for this, this is a winner. So I'm very happy. This is so far doing well. Um, same to similar properties as Inglot. Inglot might be a little bit thinner, but um, I can't justify the price. So mine is in the color. Well, I don't know. Hmm. It's in the lightest color they make. So if you're wondering, if you're fair like me, I use it under my eyes. I do a little bit on my cupid's bow. I do a little bit on the around my nose. And I can, I have also done it down the middle of my nose and then patted it all in. Blends lovely. Very much like it. Um, other face products. I picked up the Smashbox Blush, Rush, and Flush. Try saying that. Blush, Rush, Flush. Anyway, so it's in this color. It's a very, it looks like a very bright pink, but when it goes on, as you can see, it's very uh, sheer. There is a lot of glitter in it. Um, so if you're going for more natural daytime look, this might not be it for you, but it does give a nice flush of color. I've worn it in quite a few videos lately, and I really do like it. It's a perfect pink color for me. So um, if you're looking for slightly more natural, I think there's another shade that's a bit more mauve -y, and that might be the look you're going for if you want that. Another subscriber whose name I forgot to write down, and I did go back. Is he carrying a bag of cheese? Oh, my God. Um... This is, uh, was recommended me, to me by several subscribers, but recently somebody, and I went back in my comments and I couldn't find it, so I'm sorry I'm not giving you credit. I apologize, but it's the e.l.f. blush in um, Candid Coral, and I am adoring this. I'm sure it's some kind of NARS dupe. It's a peachy, corally, where is it? I have it on. I love it. Yes, there is a tad bit of shimmer to it, um, less so than the Smashbox blush. He's eating a package of cheese, but you know what? He's being quiet, so we're just going to leave it. Hmm. And um, anyway, e.l.f., $3 Target, the Candid Coral, I love. I have the pink, tinkled, tickled pink one as well, but I really love this. This might be my new everyday blush all the time. Um, eyes, real quickly, it will come as no surprise, the Wet n' Wild Brulee, which was highly recommended by many of you, has become my everyday favorite. I believe it's very similar to the MAC Brulee. I don't know because I've never owned it, but that's what I hear. And it's a matte, but not... Yeah, it's pretty matte. Some say it's not, but I think it is. And I wear it every day. I have it on now. I use it to blend. I use it in the highlight. I'm going to have to go pick up more of these. But Wet n' Wild Brulee. Love it, love it, love it. Also, Wet n' Wild, um, all the new palettes that they've recently come out with, as you know, are my favorites. I finally picked up Night Elf, and there it is. Um, and I've been wearing these three colors kind of on a daily basis. Uh, I brought this with me to Florida, wore it every day except for Thanksgiving when I wore my vanity palette. So, yay for Wet n' Wild. Um, I don't often use, I will say, this Bye. shimmer color. Bye. Sweetheart, I'm... Jake? What? Shh. I know he does, sweetie. He's got a cheese package. It's okay. Anyway, um, this is a very shimmery color. So, I <laughs> will use this. My kids are singing. I will use this as an inner corner highlight and then use brulee as my highlight highlight. So that's that. Um, I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. I have to be a mommy too. Um, okay, so where were we? Wet n Wild palettes, love them. Night Elf, love them. Uh, it's limited edition, so you might want to go pick it up while you can. Okay, on to body. This is kind of embarrassing. I think I've talked about this. I might have mentioned it. I tweeted it, something. Um, Lollipop26 Laura was talking about her new favorite fragrances, and I was, I heard it, and it, I guess it was in the back of my head, and when I went to Walgreens, and I saw this pretty pink bottle, and I smelled it. I couldn't believe it. If you like really sweet, 
This is a lot like Juicy Couture. It's very sweet. It's um, Fantasy by Britney Spears. Yes, Britney Spears. And if you go to Walgreens, I've been looking around. Walgreens has the best deal because for $20 even, you get this, you get the hand lotion, and you get shower gel. And normally just the bottle is $20, so I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, nails. I've been playing with um, my nails a lot this month because I took my acrylics off and Lisa, Lisa D1 saved me when she recommended this Nail Envy. And I know I've gotten a lot of other recommendations and I will probably try all of them, but um, I paid $16 for this bottle so I will be using it up before I explore other options. And my nails normally bend and peel. They're horrible. From using this just this month, they're, they're not bending. I don't know why I'm doing this. You can't see it, but... Um, this really has made a huge difference. So thank you, Lisa. Um, I can't recommend this enough. It's great stuff. This is the original formula. There are other versions for specific problem areas, but the original seems to be working for me. My kids are singing. Um, on another one of Lisa, Lisa D1's recommendations, I picked up that um, scrubby thingy for your feet. And I think this one is losing its scent. I think this is the lavender one or tea tree, whatever. Whatever the scent is, it smells really good when it's wet. This is the soapy side, and this is the scrubby side. And yes, you can get it in Ulta, but here's another, here's a newsflash. You can also get it at Walmart for quite a bit cheaper than at Ulta. So if you're looking for it and you happen to be at Walmart, it's in the foot care section, I think, or it might be in the pedicure section, but it's in one of those two spots, and I think it's four something. So there you go. And then my last favorite thing of the month, um, was recommended by Beauty for Every Day, Teresa, and I went out and checked it out. They're the Neutrogena um, makeup remover wipes. These are the night calming ones, and they have a nice, lovely scent. I have been using an eye makeup remover, and then a cloth, and then washing my face. And this stuff, this gets everything off in one step. Um, I do follow up with, with a soap, with my Regenerist scrub, but this gets off eye makeup, and your face makeup. You don't have to scrub. It's very smooth. It does the job very quickly. Um, it, it's, it even took off my waterproof mascara. I'm really, really impressed. However, these are six something. If you go to Target, not at Walmart, but Target, does this look familiar? These are three something. This is six something. Three, six. So, uh, I picked up these, and I haven't tried them for sure, but I'm guessing they're going to be pretty darn close, if not close enough. So if you're looking for a bargain, Target is your place. Walmart does not have the knockoff version, just Target. So anyway, <clears throat> anyway those were my November favorites, what I've been using a lot this month. And um, the next month coming up is going to be pretty busy. So... Um, I'm sure I'll get some videos in. Y'all know I'm traveling, so I um, won't be able to squeeze in too many in the next few weeks. But hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate it. For those of you who don't, um, I hope you had a great weekend and great last week. And I look forward to doing a few more videos this week, and I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.